Hello everyone, this is Southern Bell Whisper. I am just in the making video mood today. Um, I know, I don't even know if you guys like these videos, but this is going to be like another uh, porch, personal porch ramble where I kind of vent a little bit, not venting. I try not to be negative, um, but I just tell you guys what, what all has been going on. And uh, because I know a lot of people are supporting me right now and have sent me the sweetest comments and the sweetest messages ever since uh, November 22nd. So, um, and I couldn't ask for a better community of people. Uh, that are supporting me right now. Um, I couldn't do it without a good support system. Um, you know, I just, uh, you know, I've, I, I've told you guys, you know, why my marriage didn't work out. Um, it takes more than just, uh, one person giving a hundred percent. Um, a marriage is supposed to be 50-50, and we learned that when we, before we took our vows, we said, our pastor told us, he said, marriage is 50-50, and I just felt like I was doing the 100% all the time. I was the one working, I was the one, uh, you know, bringing in the money so we could pay our bills, uh, and, you know, be able to eat, um, you know, just everything was up to me, and I felt like I was drowning, I was exhausted, and I just didn't realize it fully until my parents came down here, and uh, he made a fool, of, a fool of himself, and it really, really, really made me mad, and it really just uh, solidified everything for me, because my mom was sick, you guys, I've told you, uh, in past videos recently, she's sick, okay, uh, I hadn't seen her in two years, um, and she was a lot sicker than I thought she was, uh, she has had five strokes, she is partially paralyzed on her left side, uh, so she needs a lot of help, um, and I wasn't going to take somebody, uh, bend her down and uh, talking to her the way he was, so that, that pre, but it was so much before that, you guys, it was just, that just solidified my, uh, decisions, uh, on where my marriage was going, um, so I just wanted to make that known, um, but I'm doing better, I, I go to therapy tomorrow, um, it's not really therapist because it's free, so it's not really therapist, it's therapy advocates, um, which means, you know, they, they sit down with you, with you, and they talk with you, but they, you know, they're not, like, licensed therapist, which I respect advocates, my brother was an advocate, uh, so I think, I think that's a beautiful thing, and I really like my therapist that I met with last week, so I'm hoping, uh, tomorrow will be, uh, like the first time. I'm just waiting on my marriage license. I cannot wait to get my driver's license. As soon as I get my driver's license, I can, uh, get put on my parents' car insurance. And yes, I am staying with my parents. I'm 32 and I'm staying with my parents, but I had a choice. Uh, I could have, uh, stayed there and dealt with a bunch of shit at face value, or I could go with my parents and be here for my mom, who really needs somebody, because I told you guys I, I'm a CNA for 11 years, so I know how it works, and I know she needs somebody, uh, and I didn't, I didn't really care how it looked to people for a 32-year-old woman to be living with her parents. Um, because, uh, I know I'm going to be working, uh, first thing in January, so, I, I really don't care how it looks to people, all, all I know is it looks to me that, 
uh, for the time being, I'm here to, to care for my mother, uh, uh, she, you know, I, I don't want, I don't, I don't know what God has in store for her, uh, but this could be her last Christmas, I never know, you know, we never know when our last day on earth may be, but considering how sick she is, this could be her last Christmas, and I want to be able to spoil her and and love her and respect her like she deserves. Um, my dad, God, I love him. I love him. I do. I love my dad, but he just he doesn't have that empath gene. Um, he doesn't have that caring and kindness that me and my mom have. He has never had that. So. Uh, me being here, I know, has made my mama stronger. Uh, she's told me so. And, uh, it just hurts. It really hurts, you guys. Um, uh, I, when she had that first stroke, I wanted to come here. I wanted to be on the first airplane or car ride or whatever it had to be to get here. Uh, but I was guilted into not coming. Uh, and didn't have the money to do it anyways, um, but, uh, he, um, I would have been here sooner, you know, but it's Christmas, I, I'm here, I'm trying to start my life over, I'm trying to open my eyes to possibilities and uh, what purpose God has in store for me. I've been, I don't know if I told you guys, but I've been reading the purpose driven life. I swear every single guy has a freaking pick up in this time. Everybody. Um, I've, been, I'd, I've been doing the purpose driven life for the past I think it'll be day eight tomorrow. I've done the Purpose Driven Life before, and it's very helpful. It's very inspiring and uplifting, and I definitely recommend it. I told you guys, uh, uh, I keep forgetting past videos, but I've told you guys that I'm reading that. Um, and I'm just trying to start every day, every day doing something positive or something that's going to work my body or my mind. Uh, because just sitting around feeling sorry for myself or, you know, worse yet, feeling angry, um, uh, it's not my cup of tea, you know, I don't want to sit and fester in all these feelings, um, but I feel like I'm, uh, I love this spa on the porch, uh, my parents go to bed around this time, actually they're both in bed right now, but I think this is the most beautiful time of the night. I think it's beautiful. The sun hasn't fully set. I don't know if you guys can see. And I can hear the river. And you can see the lights. The lights are turned. The house purple. It's really pretty. And there's my brother's chimes. Up there. My, my brother. My brother Joe, I know he's proud of me, man. I, you guys, when I left that morning of November 24th, I was in total shock. I, um, it was a spur of the moment type of decision. I'd, I'd been up all night. I talked to him one last time, and I had been up all night long praying, like, just what to do the right thing. Um, and just all night praying and praying and praying, and then the next morning I was like, okay, if we're if we're going to go, we gotta go now, because if I stay, I'm going to end up going back. So they, my parents, literally packed up that car in like 20 minutes, threw me in the back and the dog Daisy, the dog, and uh, drove uh, four hours back to Virginia. Uh, and I was in shock because, like, one minute I was looking down at my phone telling everybody what was going on. And the next minute we were in Mount Airy, <clears throat> North Carolina, 
I was like, oh my god, I cannot believe we just got down here that fast. Um, I was in a total stay of shop because I've never done anything like this before in my life. I've left my husband before, yes I have, uh, but I've never like literally left everything with a hundred percent certainty that, uh, you know, it's over, it's done with, ever, ever in my life. I've never done anything like this before. Um, but, uh, for once I wanted to look out for me, you know, I wanted to look out for the people that I love. I mean, I have mended so many, uh, relationships since I've been here with my family. Um, I saw the nephew that I thought I would never have anything to do with. I've talked to my brothers. Um, my best friends are coming on Friday. I mean, I have this amazing support system and people that love me. It's amazing. It really is. Uh, I miss work though. I miss, I love my job that I had, uh, I know I did those gossip videos, but I did love that job, uh, working as a rehab tech, a rehab facility. Uh, I had that job. That was the longest job I'd ever had for seven years. And I miss it. I miss the people who are also like, oh, we support you, Kelly. We're so happy for you. <laughs> because I go and work like, dude. I don't even want to go home. Like, in the mornings, I'd be like, oh, God, I don't even want to go home. You know? But, uh... Anyways, it is getting a little bit colder out here. But... I'm just venting and rambling and... <laughs> Oh, gosh. Um, but yeah, that car ride on the 24th, like, that went by in a flash. Uh, I felt like I was going to hell. I was like, watch well, us get a wreck right now because of what I've done. Like, I felt like I was being damned and going to hell because of, you know, how I left and when I left. Uh, because it was our dog's uh, it, it was the, the one year anniversary of her death on November, I kicked him out of the house on November 22nd, and the one year of her death was on the 23rd, so, like, everything was overshadowed, even Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving sucked, uh, my poor niece, she worked so hard, uh, on that meal, and, uh, it sucked. Uh, everybody was in a somber mood after what happened, but Christmas ain't going to be like that. I am going to make sure that Christmas is nothing but positivity this year. I think we all deserve it. I think we've all been through the ringer, and we need uh, a little bit of Christmas and happiness and positivity in our lives. So, anyways, this is just a little another little porch ramble for you guys. I love you guys. I'll be talking to you real soon. Have a great night. Bye-bye.